The phrase, a little while, recurs seven times in John 16, the paragraph beginning in verse 16. In fact, it's verses 16 through 19, and in those verses, seven times, Jesus alludes to a period of suffering that will last a little while. I got curious about where else in the New Testament that same language might be used, and I went looking, and I found some interesting stuff that we'll talk about today on Beyond the Notes. One author that I read and I I get to read a lot. It's almost, don't tell anybody, but it's almost a scam how much I get to read while I call myself at work. Um, but. I digress. I read a lot in preparation for this message on, on the, the passage that I was preaching. And, and one of the central themes of the passage is what specifically, what time period did Jesus mean to evoke in this, this phrase, a little while? And yes, it's obvious that he means certainly the, the, the day between the crucifixion and the resurrection. It's equally obvious that he means the 10-day the period between the ascension and Pentecost. It's a little less obvious, but I think still pretty clear that he means the period between his first visit to, to earth in the Christ event and his second coming. One author that I trust a lot disagreed with that view and said that it's, it's difficult to imagine, I believe that was his exact turn of phrase, it's difficult to imagine that a little while could mean a period as long as it has been since his first appearance on earth and his second coming to earth. But I believe a little while is a great descriptor for that. And I've got a couple of passages I want to show you. Well, actually three I want to show you. We're going to talk, continue our discussion beyond the notes a bit about this thing of a little while. If you have your Bible handy, and I hope you do, in Hebrews chapter 10, there's a paragraph beginning in verse 32. Hebrews 10, beginning in verse 32. But recall the former days when after you were enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings sometimes being publicly exposed to reproach and affliction, and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion on those in prison. I love this. You joyfully accepted the plundering of your property since, that you, your, since you knew that you yourselves had a better possession and an abiding one. You weren't hung up on your material stuff. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has great reward, for you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. For yet a little while, and the coming one will come and will not delay. The coming one will come in just a little while. Now, that was written pretty much 2,000 years ago, and certainly it describes this age of, of suffering and loss just a little while. By the way, the three passages I'm going to visit are the only other times in the New Testament the phrase a little while is used concerning God's people and not just some direct story like it was a little while between breakfast and lunch. When it's used to describe God's people, these are the three passages. The second of them is in First Peter, the very first chapter, First Peter 1 <clears throat> the paragraph beginning in verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now, for a little while, there's our phrase, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes, though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. For, a, for now, you're in a season of trials but it's just a little while. And again, still in 1 Peter, this time near the end of the book, 1 Peter 5, sort of the, the last full paragraph of 1 Peter. Chapter 5, beginning in verse 6. 
Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself restore confirm, strengthen, and establish you. So it seems to me that it's, in fact, a theme that echoes out of John 16, but through the remainder of the teaching of the New Testament. Christian, things may not be today as you would wish them. And by the way, things today may be exactly as you wish them. You may be having an incredible day. And if you are, I hope you are. And I hope you're enjoying it. And I hope you're thanking the Lord for it. It's a, it's a season of rest. And that's a good thing. But the overall tone of this present age is, well, not one of pleasantness for the Christian. It is one of endurance. It is one of duty. It is one of fulfilling our role and loving our Savior and loving one another. And all of those things are, are great. But it's also a period of, of, of trial and refinement and uh, hard duty. <laughs> and quite a bit of suffering and, well, death. But it's only a little while. And again, if you're outside of Christ and listening to this podcast first, I am so glad and thank you for you. A little while is all you've got left till you face your judge. And I really want to encourage you come to Jesus. But if you're in Christ and this world you have discovered is really, really not your friend. And the roaring lion is prowling right over there in the edge of the tall grass waiting for a chance to leap upon you. But he only has a little while, and your endurance will only be required for yet a little while. Well, I just love the phrase. It has captured my heart this week, as you can tell. I hope it will somewhat capture yours. I hope by now you are liking and following and sharing these podcasts, and we look forward to being with you again on the next episode of Beyond the Notes.